I went to a synth flea market in Chicago. It was in Bridgeport at the Mars Brewing thing. I don't even remember who put it on. It was cool. I got a dope function generator, but it is fucking broken. It's an HP 3300A. Um, apparently, it was the first one that they transistorized. Um, the big giant one before that being a vacuum tube one. So, it has some crazy features. This is an oven, which it uses to balance the um, current sources for the, the transistors, which I think is, that's fucking crazy. Um, anyway, the, the, the problem with it um, was that there's a linear power supply here, which uses some uh, regulators over here, and a bunch of drivers and stuff, and basically uses a voltage divider to drive a differential amp, which is so fucking funny, because the differential amp is a pair of BJTs, and I've been trying to build a differential um, voltage reference amplifier to use with switch mode power supplies, and I was like, oh, well, I can just use some BJTs with, like, a really high open loop gain, um, and that's what they did here, so learning things. Anyway, Part of the resistor divider network is this supposed to be 2 kilo ohm resistor. It is not 2 kilo ohms. It is 3 kilo ohms. This uh, black pot here, I don't even know if you can see it, whatever, it's a trim pot, had also been replaced from 390, I think, to 470. So it no longer would divide down to the right voltage. So the 26.5 volt regulator was stuck at 20, 20 volts, and uh, that shit didn't work. So I replaced it with a big giant 5 watt thing, because that's what I had. You can even see it. You can see it, it's the square. Um, and now it works. So, uh, yeah, I would recommend doing it, getting one. You know what sucks though, is I was there, I was there and I'm like, hey man, does that work? And he's like, oh yeah, like it had been used by, technicians, or not, sorry, not musicians in a studio, and I was like, oh, well, if a musician had it, it must work, because musicians, all their shit always works, but no, it was a fucking lie. It did not work. It's got a big giant dial. I'm gonna pull you around to the front. I'm not gonna edit this video, so you pulling you around. Oh, I have to edit the fucking video. So if we power it on, I have it set up with both channels, and you can see there. There's a little bit of a gain difference, but I have them balanced now. And like this, they are in phase. And it also has a setting invert A. So now it's a push-pull setup. Which fucking rocks because I do stuff all the time. I was working on this beautiful uh, inductor EQ for a studio. And I'm like, what the hell? Why does my signal look like garbage? What's so wrong with this thing? I had been sending it an unbalanced signal. So... In that case, I grounded one side of it to make it single-ended, but in this case, now I can give it a proper signal. Um, there's also, I'm turning, I'm rotating you. I'm, there's also this phase section, which I haven't even begun, I haven't even begun to like investigate this. So that's gonna be a lot of fun to play with. Um, and yeah, it's a beautiful machine with uh, 100 kilohertz max frequency, which isn't ideal, but it's uh fucking awesome so yeah uh bye <laughs>